So to get there, we'll first expand the Java node. Then we'll expand that first node under Java. And there we have the file for our app's activity, which is named main activity. Well, since we'll be using this activity to work with a note, let's rename it to note activity. So to do that, I'll head over here to main activity. I'll right click, I'm going to head down to refactor. Then I'll head up to rename. And then I'll choose rename. And let's make the activity's name note activity. To rename it, I'll go ahead and hit enter. Android Studio asked me to confirm whether I want to do the refactor, and I do. So I'll head down here to the button labeled Do Refactor. I'll choose that. Now what's nice about refactoring is it doesn't just change the file name, but it changes the name everywhere that it's used. Now the activity has several other files associated with it. So let's rename those as well. So down here under our layout section, we have activity main and content main. So we'll use that same refactor process to change them to activity note and content note. So with those two files renamed, we have one more file we want to rename, which is the menu for the activity. So to do that, I'm going to expand this menu node, which shows us that we have a file named menu main. Now again, use the refactor process to change that to menu note. And with that, we now have our project and our app's activity, along with its associated files, are all named appropriately. So we have everything in place that we need to start adding features and capabilities into our NoteKeeper app.